Okay, good uh, afternoon. Welcome to. Five math number six seventy eight. Five math six seventy eight. Uh, I hope that, I hope we're right on six seventy eight. So you had a practice problem from your math team. That's actually a really cool problem, and I'll show it here. It's just part of a worksheet you have, uh, and it says this: In the hardware store, Matt goes to the fastener aisle, which has wood screws, sheet metal screws, hex bolts, carriage bolts, and lag bolts. So five types. So five different kinds of fasteners. How many ways can he choose 10 fasteners if he needs at least one of each kind? Well, if we need at least one of each kind, we can just shrink the problem down that, so he has five types and he needs to choose five fasteners. Okay. Because we can just <coughs> say that he just buys one of each type. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So he can buy one of each type and then he's left five. with five. five. And he's got to choose how many? Is it choose five to buy? Out of five. Five. But they don't have to be distinct. So he could all he could buy all of one type, for example. That's exactly right. So this seems like a casework problem to me. Uh, it's definitely a counting problem, uh, but this is actually a special type of counting problem. It has its own uh, name. Mm hmm. This is called stars and bars. Mm -hmm. Ever heard that before? No. Okay. So this is a problem about stars and bars. So the way we, the way you can approach a problem like this is we can imagine we have five stars. Sure. Going to be our types. <laughs> and I can make them correctly. So these are our five types. And then we want what we want to do is we want to throw down bars. that tell us how many of each of the types we got. Mm -hmm. So we got none of the first type, two of the second type, one of the third type, two of the fourth type, none of the fifth type. All right. You see that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's a very interesting situation. Show me uh, a different star and bar five of this, different than what I picked, showing and explain to me what it shows. I'll just use dots. So let's say So we need we need five bars. Okay. Or do we just read until we reach the first bar and this this would be type one. Okay. So none of type one, none of type two, or type three or type four, and then five of type five. Okay, very good. Alright. Right. Can you can you draw one? What would this tell us? Three of the first, none of the second. And there's one of the third, one of the fourth, none of the fifth. Not quite. Not quite. But close. None of the first. None of the first. Three of the second. Three of the second. None of the third. One of the fourth. One of the fifth. Okay. All right. So what are we going to have to do here to make, um, to count? All these different types of arrangements. Well, we're gonna have to count the. Ooh, I didn't want you to erase. All the possible ways okay. to put down the bars, and there's four of them. Okay. All right. So we're gonna have to count all the possible arrangements. How we could make something like this. This would be one of the first, one of the second, one of the third, two of the fourth, none of the fifth. All right. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can look at how many ways you can I put I really them. shouldn't have put a box around it. That actually makes it much more confusing unnecessarily. Sorry. How many ways you can put the um, bars down? All right. How is that? How many ways can we put the bars so you, down? The first bar, you have one, 
two, three, four, five, six spaces to put them down. Okay. And then you just do this for all the bars. Yeah, it gets complicated though because what if I put a bar, what if I just said three things and I put a bar here? And how many places do I have to put it down? Well, you would still have six because you could put the second one there or here or three in this case, here, here, or here. Why not here? I mean, you could, but that's sort of the same. Right, so that's why it gets a little bit tricky to, th to think about it this way. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to a second movie.